All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back from another episode of Andrew Time. Today, we're playing Demon's Cross, because obviously it's Sunday. Now, today's Friday. Sunday, I'm not going to be here, so I'm trying to upload, or I'm trying to record this video and upload it immediately. Some things are going on on Demon's Cross. So, first off, I want to give a shout out to Dark Sun. Um, that's his end game name, but his YouTube name, I want to say, is 2615JBoy. I don't remember his name specifically, but you know who you are. Uh, Dark Sun is his in game name. He messaged me yes or Thursday night he messaged me. Uh I saw his message at like one in the morning and I'm like, uh it's one in the morning, dude. I'm like, you know, I heard my phone go off because of something else. So I was looking at my phone. I saw his message, he's like, hey essentially it boiled down to Hey, I'm Queen Demons Cross. I don't have time to play anymore. I have all these cards. I'm gonna give them to you. Would you like them? If not, you know, I'll find other people to give them to. I told him, sure, I'll take the cards. And the thing about that is, I am going to take the cards. He sent them to me. They're in my mailbox. I have not seen them yet at all. Okay? So I haven't seen the cards he's given me at all yet. And I can show you that right here in the mailbox that, you know, I don't know what cards they are. Let's go to mail. I don't know what these cards are. I'm like, uh, let's go to gifts. All these gifts from Dark Sun. And he told me, he's like, hey, I have two accounts. One's a double S, one's a tr uh triple s or s s plus something like that and he's like hey i'm gonna give you a bunch of cards and he's like um do whatever you want with them you know keep them or give them away what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at them later i'm not gonna look at them on video because i don't want to bring any more things onto it i'm gonna look through these cards later and i might keep a few but essentially what i'm gonna do is just hand them out to other people so i'll be doing another giveaway when will i be doing said giveaway i don't know honestly i don't know when i'm gonna do a giveaway Maybe this week, maybe next week, I don't know. But sometime before the end of September, I will be doing another giveaway for Demon's Cross for more cards. That being said, I'm still doing a 200 subscriber giveaway. And about 200 subscriber giveaway, I'm essentially going to do two giveaways back to back. I'm going to do a 200 subscriber giveaway and a 300 subscriber giveaway. That's a lot of giveaways, honestly. I'm not going to do one for 400. What I'm going to do is... After I reach 300, the next giveaway will be at 500 subscribers, then 700, then 900, or I don't know. But essentially, 500 is all I have planned so far. So it's going to be 200, 300, and 500. Those are going to be the only giveaways I have planned so far, plus the one that's currently going on, which I guess I'm going to push the date back to Tuesday, definitely. So if by Tuesday I have people, or I still have cards that no one wants, I'm going to feed them to my dead men. I have a few cards that are already being given away. I've given away out of, I want to say 25, I have at least 5 that have been given away already. So I still have 20-ish cards. So, you know, hop on that, you guys have till Tuesday. Upon Tuesday, I don't get anyone claiming any cards. They're going to be fed instantly to any other demon I have. So hop on that. I didn't want to expand the giveaway, but I have to because I'm not going to be here I'm not going to be here Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So I guess I'm expanding it till Tuesday, which is good for you guys who haven't gotten the cards and want to join in. So, yeah. Like I'm saying, hop on that immediately. Um, I know we're going to go hunt. I don't. I have like 50 demon coins. There's nothing I could buy. Um, there's something I want to talk about, and I just cannot for the life of me remember what it was. So we're not going to be able to talk about it, obviously, but... Yeah, expect another Demon's Cross giveaway, still expect a 200 subscriber giveaway, and if you haven't joined yet, join in the giveaway I'm doing right now for the cards. Um, they're only 4 stars, but once again, I know some people who don't have 4 star cards who it could help out a lot, so, you know, hop on that. Trust me, you guys, once again, it's nothing major, but, you know, you guys gotta hop on it. And if come Tuesday... Um, actually, today, today is the last chance for, um, first come, first serve. If there are multiple cards you want, actually, tell me what cards you want. Go look at the giveaway video. I'll leave a, I'll leave a description down, or I'll leave a link in the description down below. Um, and basically just go watch that video and ask me if I have said cards still available. And then come Tuesday, I'll, you know, give you away a card or whatever. Now, something's popping up. I'm pretty sure it's a YouTube comment. Let's see. Yeah, YouTube comment. Whatever. It could wait. Not right now. I'm pretty sure I know what the comment 
what the comment is for, but we're not going to check it right now. And we're, yep, knew we were going to get hit, but whatever. One thing, though, I'm not going to give away the whole deck to one person, though. I'll give maybe three cards away to one person at a time. Sorry, but I don't want, like, someone coming and swoop in and take the whole deck. So, if by the time this video comes out and set cards aren't given away, then I'll give you three cards at a time. Um, if by Tuesday come and I still have some cards left over the game, fed immediately. Sorry, but I don't want to, you know, keep a video up that's going to be useless. Like, you know, you gotta be, you can't be too lenient either. You have to be, like, sort of strict with this stuff. Like, I know I have one subscriber who is asking for a few cards. And let's close our eyes, close our eyes. Let's see. Let's go right here. Let's go to the middle. Close our eyes. Okay. So, um, I know I had one subscriber ask me for a few cards. But the person didn't pay attention to the rules. They asked for cards on a different video. They didn't ask for the cards in my, um... In my giveaway video, they asked for the cards in my regular Demons Cross video, which is like, no, that's not the point. You have to pay attention. And I clearly said on Wednesday's video that there will be a special video for the giveaway, but the person still decided to comment on the normal video. It's like, no, I'm going to ignore you. You're not getting these cards. I'm sorry. Because seriously, I'm not going to, like, break the rules for certain people. It's like, no. I clearly put the rules out there and told you guys how to do it. If you choose not to listen or didn't pay attention correctly, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to bend the rules for you. Let's just be fair. In, in like an official giveaway, like something bigger, they wouldn't bend the rules for someone, even if they were correct. It's like, no, I'm not going to bend the rules for you. Sorry. Gotta understand. And this comes into me being me. It's like, no one helped me get these cards. Like, not till I started doing YouTube, like seriously, did people help me with cards. But in the beginning, I got these cards all on my own. It was only like a few months back that people gave me cards that I use. And actually, turns out that September 13th was my first upload for um, Demon's Cross, which it's already been a year that I've been doing Demon's Cross videos. One year where I upload at least once a week Demon's Cross. And then... um. It wasn't until a few months ago that I started uploading every other week. So, I'm pretty impressed by that, honestly. I want to see how far I can take Demons Cross. Um, you know, I plan, keep, I plan to keep doing Demons Cross for as long as I'm doing YouTube. And for as long as I play Demons Cross. And, like, you know, I always have memory on my phone for Demons Cross, at least. Stuff outside Demons Cross I don't really have memory for. And before we come back to hunt, I'm going to go feed these cards to my Yamatano, try to level him up. I mean, I could easily, uh, you know, sell them for, uh, what is it called? I could easily sell them for gear, for, um, hardware, not gears, my bad, hardware. But let's just feed them to Yamatano, because it needs to be leveled up. Let's see... And I was holding on to certain cards for my sister, and she's all like, oh, I don't play anymore. I'm like, all right, then, do you want you don't want these cards anymore? She's like, no. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to feed them to my demon immediately. Like, she wants some basic three stars, and I think, like, two four stars. I'm like, you know what, I held these cards for so long that they're not even in the giveaway, so I'm like, whatever, let's just feed them. Read Death Growth. 81%. Now let's go back to Hunt real quick, then we're going to come back for uh, Boneyard. But um, another thing that happened is Dark Sun. I hope it's Dark Sun and not Dink Sun, because I never really paid attention. All I saw was A, K, and then Sun. But um, he was telling me, he's like, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure some of the cards I'm going to give you will replace your deck. I'm like... I hope they don't. Truthfully, I truly hope they don't replace my deck. You know, I truly like my deck. I hope they're not being replaced. But I guess we'll find out. Um, or I guess I'll find out. You guys won't find out anything. Um, once again, I don't want to... I 
I keep talking about it, but I don't want to show those cards off until I'm 100% know what I'm going to do with them. So, you know, if I'm going to give them away or if I'm going to keep them, that's going to be a secret until I decide. First, I need to see them, obviously, but, you know, every time I get a special card, there's always one person always being like, oh, can I have that card? It's like, no. You know, like, sorry, but I'm not always just giving shit away. Another thing, okay, so I keep deleting my, um, people who try to request me as a friend. I'm gonna say this every video. If you are gonna request me as a friend, drop your in-game name in the comments below. I'm not just gonna add random people, you know? Another thing is, like, I don't want to, like, I've added random people before. Like, I've had two separate accounts on this game. Well, one on my tablet and one on here. And on my tablet one, I had some random person add me who hacked their game and gave me hacked cards. So it's like, that's why I don't add random people. I want to know who actually wants to add me as a friend. So once again, if you're going to try to add me, and I'm going to say every video, drop your in-game name in the comments or you're not going to be added. I don't care who you are, you just need to drop your name and then you'll be added. Um, but yeah, freaking cheaters in this game. And it sucks because I'll look up like Demons Cross on um, just on Google Chrome just to see what's coming up. And the first thing that always pops up is like APK hacks, hack files, hacks, cheats. I'm like, no. I'm sorry, I play this game legit. I don't want any cheated cards. And there's like a certain page I found on Facebook where it's like, oh, Give us your in-game name and we'll give you, like, infinite hunt passes, infinite boneyard passes, infinite energy, infinite demon coins. It's like, dude, you guys are fucking cheaters. It's like, why? Why do you feel the need to cheat? Seriously. And that's, like, the main reason why I don't add random people. Because, like I said, I've already had bad experience. I don't need hacked cards. Especially not on a profile I use all the time for videos. You know, I'm not a cheater. I don't want anything associated with cheating on my channel. And I'm trying to think. I'm like, huh, have I ever done, like, a cheat? Like, have I ever done a video of anything on cheats? And it's like, nope. Not once. And I don't plan to. Just, I don't, like... I don't understand why people would want to cheat in a game like this. Like, seriously. It's... It's not as bad as Pokemon Go cheaters, though. Goddamn Pokemon Go cheaters, like, I remember there was, um, so my friend was on Snapchat, and he was taking a video of his friend playing Pokemon Go, and his friend just kept tapping on the screen, and everywhere he tapped, you'd see his trainer running, and it's like, dude, are you fucking serious? Why do you feel the need to do this? Like, why would you want to cheat in a game like Pokemon Go? You're cheating to, so you don't have to do what the game was designed. You're cheating so you don't have to move into real life. It's like, dude, what's the point of playing, honestly? What is the point? Don't even play, seriously, like, don't play, if that's how you're gonna be. And as for Pokemon Go, I... I rarely play the game anymore, sadly, um... Fucking, I, I don't get Pokeballs that much anymore. After one of the latest updates, I get less and less Pokeballs now, it's like, dude, come on now. How do you expect me to play if I don't have any Pokeballs? I'm sorry, I could use my YouTube money to buy shit, but I'm not gonna use my YouTube money to buy Pokeball stuff, it's like, it's not worth it. I mean, maybe to upgrade my storage or something, but I'm not going to spend money on Pokeballs. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Like, is Pokemon Go still a fun game? Oh, yeah, it's still a fun game. I do like it, but it's like, I'm not going to pay, and I can't play it often because I keep running out of Pokeballs. So, we're just going to suggest, yep. Um, I know another one of my subscribers, I believe, named Luis. I want to say it's Luis. I know there's two people, specifically when it comes to Demons Cross, who are old viewers. Or older viewers of mine. There's Fist Me, and then there's Luis. I believe it was Luis. He said we challenged each other once in the Boneyard. I have no recollection of that. If that's true, I do want to face him again later. He said he was an amateur because he doesn't play Boneyard anymore. So I'm like, huh. Alright, I'll drop down to amateur next week. But yeah. Um... I believe it was Luis, that's just the one that sticks out the most, who said we fought before in Demon's Cross. I'm like, huh, I want to fight again then. And the reason I don't remember is because, like, I don't really pay attention to people's usernames when I'm in the Boneyard. Honestly, when I'm in the Boneyard, I'm just checking to see what's happening. I'm not checking, like, people's names. Which is kind of bad. I probably should check names more, but I don't, and that's my big flaw. But, um, yeah, we've got our cards, so let's go. Rookie Boneyard, 
The last time I was at a double S ranking, now I got dropped down to an A. So we're just gonna beat this card real quick, and then the next guy, and the third guy might present a problem. Actually, no. We're gonna fight this, this third, like, strongest guy, actually, next. So we can beat this Boneyard on a win. So that's just all I want to end this video on. I want to end it on a win. I don't want to end it on a loss. So, Adam12, Bikini Cat, Bridal Freja. Of course she's back. Empress Wu. Ooh, Jupiter. Moby Dick. Eh. Oh shit, Moby Dick comes back. Wow. Fucking Yandiri Chan. He's got the Yandiri Chan card. Cleopatra. Scissor Lady. Huh, I've never seen a Scissor Lady. That's pretty cool. Double Axe Handler. Huh. I've rarely seen these cards. Weeping Mermaid. I've seen that one before. Don't remember if I had one. Raging Panzer. I had one for a while, but not anymore. And honestly, I feel this month might be the month I finally could collect everything from the daily reward. I feel this month might be the month. Uh, this is probably the strongest guy we're going to fight in this pass, at least. Next pass, we're probably going to be stronger, but I'm not sure. But yeah, so far, only two days in September. already have both um, items for the day. You know, hopefully I can do it all month long. So, virulent M... M Med B? I don't know what that card is. It disappeared, what the hell? Jacko Titan. I need the Azure Dragon with the cell regeneration, honestly. I'm probably gonna re def him. Or learn new abilities, because I want that cell regeneration where it just keeps coming back. And I honestly can't wait till my um, Yamatano is fully re -deft. Yeah, we got owned this one. Ivory Mouse was it? Uh, Ivory Muse. Okay. So that's why I said I want to beat this pass on uh, win. So guarantee this is going to be just straight up murder right here. Let's see. I feel she might take down four cards at least. Maybe four at the most. Virulent Deputy Sauna. Explorer Cat. I think I still have my Explorer Cat somewhere. Definitely still have my Cleopatra. Himiko still have her. Ah, the Scylla. Alluring Maiko. Fallen Angel. Triceratug. Still have one. Rodeo Girl. Or I think I fed the Triceratug to my Yamatano. I'm not sure. If not, I'm going to. Still on A ranking, whatever. I might take one more pass through, I'm not sure. Definitely one more pass through, but I'm not sure where we're gonna, you know, end the video on. We're gonna work from the strong, or the third strongest to the weakest. So at least, that way I could at least end on a win. And I always hate these downtimes. I hate when it loads. These downtimes are killer. But yeah, it truthfully feels good to finally be done with Gears of War 2. Um, I already recorded the video for next mon or for Monday and Tuesday, these next two coming days. I already recorded the Duke Nukem Forever gameplay, so those will be ready in case I'm not here in time to record videos. They'll already be up. Dumbledore looks nice. What's the next card? It's a... Uh... No, fuck off, Dumbelina. What's the next card? Joan of Dark. I like that, actually. Siegfried. But where's Roy? Is this health going to keep coming back? Baroness Sea God Musashi? Come on, Yamato. Burn his ass. Ah, uh, the Fenrir. The Fenrir is probably going to win. Yeah. Napoleon can't clap it hard enough. Nope. King eight or King zero eight eight three. All right. Um. But yeah, uh, I already got Duke Nukem 
Party planned and, you know, it's already set to upload uh, Monday and Tuesday for 2 o'clock p.m. Usual quick play times. Um, once again, I say it in the video, those videos cannot be monetized because 2K doesn't allow monetization near this gearbox. But that just goes to prove that I'm not doing YouTube solely for money. And I talk about it at the end of Tuesday's video, actually. But let's just re-go over what I said. Um, I've been accused a few times in the past that... People say I only do YouTube because I can make money off it. That is not true at all. Now, yes, being able to make money off of YouTube is a good little plus. It allows me to buy little downloadable content, or maybe if I want to buy some stuff for Demons Cross, you know, it allows me to. But I don't make enough money to, like, live off of, which is sad, and I don't only do videos because of money. That is not why I do videos. Once again, my first year of recording... 2015 and 2016 you saw how much fun i had making videos i enjoyed it i still do have fun actually it's just now i kind of overwork myself with the videos which i shouldn't do i'm thinking of maybe taking like a week break where i don't upload i'm not sure when but i've thought about it but um 2015 and 2016 i w was not allowed to monetize any videos and knowing my network i they probably sent my old videos to monetize even though that's not right and that shouldn't happen but i had so much fun doing videos without the thought of ever making money off it then come 2016 i'm like you know what if i can make a little bit of money why shouldn't i try to do it you know i put in a lot of time i put in a lot of effort i like doing these videos for people why not try to see if i could make money off of it and i can thankfully so like damage cross is one of the videos i can monetize payday 2 is but duke nukem forever borderlands um the darkness 2 Spec Ops The Line, these are all games I plan on playing that I can't make a dime off of. I can't make a penny. And the one thing that sucks is, I don't know why, but the network I joined sets my videos to monetize, even if they're not supposed to be. So I'm going to have to be on top of it and make sure they're not being monetized. Because I would hate for them to send money a video to be monetized, and I would hate for like 2K to come in, you know try to go to court with me and take away my channel because i said it at the end of tuesday you know if my channel or at the end of the video that's gonna come out on tuesday i say like if they were to take my channel away okay i'd probably come back there's a 40 percent chance i might come back there's a 60 percent chance i won't come back if my channel gets taken down you know i worked up this far in a year to get to where i am from like 15 subscribers to like 125 i want to say I built up 110 subscribers within a year, which is nothing major, but then again, within a year, I wasn't doing daily uploads like I am now. Every other week, I do daily uploads on a channel. Not sure if you guys noticed that. Not sure if you Android Time viewers view my other content, but I upload damn near every day, except every other week, there's a video that comes out on Saturday, or a video that doesn't come out on Saturday, which stops me from a daily uploads um, schedule. But other than that, you know, I try to record as much as I can. Like, like I said earlier, I record so much to the point where I think, you know, I just want to take a break. I work myself too hard on YouTube, which you shouldn't do, honestly. Like, I'm not making... This sounds so douchey. This sounds so wrong. I don't know how to properly say it right now. I'd have to really think on how to properly word this so it doesn't sound bad. But honestly, if I got paid a lot more then I would daily upload no problem. But the fact that I'm barely making anything is what makes me think, like, is the time and effort that I'm putting into this really worth it, honestly? It's like, I could be using this time to go out into the world and look for jobs or doing something else, but I don't. You know, I'm here just uploading videos, playing games, and uploading them. Which isn't bad, honestly. At least I'm doing something on, like, some YouTubers who have... I know some YouTubers who have like 500 subscribers who don't even try to monetize their videos, which is good for them. You know, like I would definitely say smaller channels shouldn't be monetizing videos because it's not going to work out good. Your network, the network you're going to get with is going to be pretty bad. You're not going to be making anything. Um, kind of want to talk about the cut I make, but I'm pretty sure I can't. So we're not going to discuss it. But yeah, I'm not making that much to the point where I could be like, oh, daily uploads, man. No problem. And that's kind of a bad way to end the video, because I'm only going to go through one more uh, battle in this past, and we're going to be done. But, yeah. 
you know, I keep thinking, should I take a break from YouTube? Um, what would be worth it? You know, I might, you know, still record videos, but take a break where I don't edit them or where I don't upload them, you know? I don't know. I just keep thinking, like, when would I take said break? You know, and there might be something coming up in the near future where I'm going to have to slow down with recording, actually. It has been... The idea has been, um... Not approved, um... There is a keyword I'm looking for. Not verified. I guess verified. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have to go down to a certain place every other day to go help out with a family member. So that means my uploading schedule is gonna have to be slowed down a lot. As to where every other day there might be a video. It's not gonna be daily. And it's only gonna be for like maybe a month or two. It's nothing with me, but I'm gonna have to help someone out to where I'm not gonna be able to do uploads as often as I am. But we're gonna see how that goes. So, yeah. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow for, uh, with a brand new episode of Duke Nukem Forever. And Tuesday again with Duke Nukem Forever. And possibly some payday too, somewhere in between whatever day it lands on, you know, every other odd day. So, until next time, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.